Jessica Kringle, also known as Mrs. Claus, and I'm so glad that you've joined me again today. We're not doing any crafts today or counting down to Christmas. I thought it would be fun, since it's the summertime, to maybe learn a couple of signs so that if we have friends who are in the hearing impaired community, we can do sign language with them for Christmas signs. So some of the signs I want to teach you today have um, a need to spell something out and so I need you to come in really close because the first thing I'm going to do is teach you the sign language alphabet, okay? Come on in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is wish people a Merry Christmas. And how you do that is you say, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now we're going to use that Christmas sign to learn some other things too. So the first thing that you usually do right after Thanksgiving is you put up your Christmas tree, right? Your Christmas tree probably has on top of it either an angel or some stars, right? So you put an angel on your tree or do you put a star on your Christmas tree? And then of course don't forget the Christmas lights. Those are beautiful, I love those. Now, how many of you hang a Christmas wreath on your door? I know I do, I love the smell of the pine. I know a lot of you are going to want to know how to say Santa Claus. So here's Santa. You talk about his beard and his belly. That's Santa Claus. I am Mrs. Claus, and um, there isn't a sign for Mrs. Claus, but what we can say is we can either spell it Mrs. Claus, or you can just call me Santa's wife. Mm-hmm, Mrs. Claus. Now. Santa and I, we live in the North Pole. That's right, the North Pole. And there we have a lot of reindeer. And the reindeer help to pull Santa's sleigh. Now on Christmas Eve, he has to load his sleigh with a lot of presents for all of you. Now, have you been a good little girl or boy? Or are you on Santa's naughty list? <laughs> Hopefully you've been good. I know a lot of you like to leave treats for Santa. And some of you will put out some milk and cookies for Santa. And that's how he gets his big belly. And that's how we sign Santa with his beard and his belly, right? Because of all the cookies that you guys make for him. I like to play in the snow. When it's snowing, I like to make a snowman. Um, now when I'm playing in the snow, it's very cold. When I get cold from playing in the snow, I love to get some hot chocolate. And what is hot chocolate without marshmallows, right? That's my favorite is, is hot chocolate with marshmallows. Of course, I like cookies too. I also like to have a candy, and then you spell this one, cane, a candy cane. Um, sometimes we'll put that in the hot chocolate and stir it so it tastes like chocolate mint. Now, if you are on Santa's um, good list, then he brings you a present. If you've been naughty, then Santa will put some coal in your stocking. Now here's the word for stocking. You have your Christmas sock, right? So your Christmas stocking, and you usually hang your, your Christmas stocking on the fireplace. 
<laughs> Isn't that fun? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun and I hope that you'll watch this and really learn those signs that I've taught you so that if you have a hearing impaired friend who speaks sign language, you'll be able to communicate with them and you can talk about some of your favorite Christmas things. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.